and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching uh, today we're gonna do something a little different of course you've seen me do it before and I've always been at the controls we've done this many many times uh, lifting a uh, flatbed trailer and putting it on top of another trailer uh, we have one in our own back lot and Mike is going to be training he's got a class B CDL so he's going he's got his class A permit so we're going to get him some time behind the wheel and some time at the controls on the truck and I'm just going to sit back and if he needs help help him like he helps me when I'm at the controls so it's Mike's turn I think uh, he's doing back in yeah you can go either way you can go that way and around or you can go that way and around probably easier to go this way whatever you want uh, or, no oh, 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 oh wait better go that way because Raymond's Raymond just pulled around with that semi truck and trailer yeah you probably better go that way yeah. and gotcha. that way you can clear you're good this way go down to the tire shop turn and come back around this thing once you learn how to do it. You gotta build the RPMs up more. You're staying down a little too low. On this one you shift it around 17, 1800. Gotcha. Sometimes a little higher even. Down. 
us when you're bagging up. Especially going back out onto a road. You need to turn your emergency lights on too. The easiest way, if you're going to hit the road. You didn't hit the road on this one, so you're good. They're all up here right now. Yeah, the easiest way on this one is the bottom right is all on. That turns everything, turn everything on. You try to split the difference and get right in the middle of them so you got room for your outriggers to go out. And put the boom about the center of the trailer. Oop. Yeah, I went a little past center. That's there. all right. You got five foot to play with. Either way, remember? Yep, yep. There you go. I'd stay a little forward, stay a little stay forward of center, so that way you can you've got room to play with. Gotcha. You can bring it forward or back. Yeah, that looks like pretty good there. All right. Now, turn. You got to hit the controls first. Turn the controls on. Second, control top power. Left. Yep. And then clutch it. Yep. PTO, and then confirm. You got to hit the blue button. Nope. You got to hit the soft button, button on the okay. side. Yeah, not gotcha. the screen. Gotcha. Okay. okay. There you go. Good to go. All right. Here we go. I'm just gonna grab some gloves. Grab some gloves and help Mike with the rigging. Oh, it's a sloppy, muddy mess. We've had rain, snow, freeze, and thaw, and now it's thawed out again, and warm, and nasty. All right, what do you want to do? We're just gonna, are we gonna use the end of loop? Well, uh, remember how we've done hooks. it. Remember how we've done it before. No, we've done it with the tater hooks before. Well, yep, that'll work. Don't see why not. Get your truck set up, and I'll do the rigging. Let, let's reverse rolls here. Okay. I'll work on setting up the rigging. Want to use the container hooks? They work. Yeah, Ron, this is yours. Well, it belongs to the company, but I'm the I'm the main operator. I'm training him today. I gotta get some time off every now and then, so I gotta train somebody. Uh, this is over a mill? Uh, to replace it now would be over a mill, yeah. When we bought it, with all the equipment and everything that goes with it, we're at around uh, three quarters. 750. Oh, no, I think about 700 almost a mill. Yeah, 750 for roughly. Napa no god, okay. Anybody got? Uh, oh wow, okay. Volvo has weird uh, Okay, well.
like I said, all we're doing today is switching rolls. I'm giving Mike a chance to learn the controls on the rotator. Back here in a safe, controlled environment. trailers don't weigh hardly anything the bulk of the weight is in the back where the axles are I'm gonna have to take this jacket off out here in the sun, it's actually warmed up quite a bit. Nice, I like it. Not gonna complain about it. using the eight foot endless loop slings so that we've got good beer angle. Yeah, we'll 
just have to watch it as he lifts it. Straight across. Could just do the endless loop and not worry about the container hook. I already got them set up. slings go into the rounded part of the clevis or shackle and as always the pressure point of the pin will be pulling down into the throat you're probably going to have to roll the boom back for the initial lift Yep. Rotate me around a little bit. Now, you'll want to rotate. You have to release it up here first before you can roll. Go to your winch free spool screen. I got them all free spool. Okay, all right. Then go to your free, uh, speed, winch speed. Winch speed? Yep. Your house lock is already lo unlocked. Hit the travel lock. Right beside it. There you go. Yep. And that's your forward and back. That keeps it from rolling forwards and back. Whenever you hit the controls button, it releases the house lock automatically. The house lock is the rotate part, okay? It keeps it pinned in either straight back or straight over the cap, one of those two positions. The house lock does the rotate, the uh, uh, travel lock does the forwards and backwards. It'll lock it all the way back or it'll lock it all the way forward. Sometimes you have to roll it a little bit forward to get it to drop down. Because it's on a, uh, it's got an arm that kicks up on an air cylinder. Sometimes it gets gets stuck if you've got some pressure on it backwards. So roll it forwards a little bit and then roll it back. Roll. Right there. Rear travel. Forward travel. You twist that knob. There you go. See? You hear it pop? That lock had a little bit of pressure on it. And you're gonna come up at a little bit of an angle the way you've got it set up here. Yeah. You pulled forward a little too far, which is my fault. I guess. I'll accept responsibility for it. Well, I'm trying to <laughs> trying to let you learn. Yeah on your own you know you got to learn to judge the distances and everything yourself too now get this 90 degrees you want it at, you want it at 90 degrees no your rotation you want it direct 90 degrees so that when you lift this thing isn't going to pivot one way or the other into the rotator then you can then as you lift you can adjust but you want it 90 degrees right beside you then you can adjust forward and backwards with your cables 
Okay. Watch your screen, it'll tell you. And then you can use your eyes as well. Get it as close to 90 as you can. Now, just boom up, because you're gonna need the height. As you boom up, it'll bring the tip of the boom towards the rotator, okay? All right, 90 degrees. So bring your boom up. I stand behind it or in front of it and I'll eyeball it until these are about centered. Are you still free spooled? Yeah. Okay, good. Take it up until these, the boom is center line of the trailer. Or if you want to push it away from the truck, you can have it a little this way, past center. If you want to pull it in towards you. I, I like doing a direct vertical lift if at all possible so that there's no movement forward, backward, side to side. Now, you're gonna have to put pressure on your blue first. Just look at your lift angle, okay? You're gonna have to lift a little bit on the blue first to take pressure off the legs. You can, okay, you can lock the winches from that remote. Yep, free spool down at the bottom. You can lock them in from there, but you cannot release them from the remote. The only place to release them is at the main control stations. Hit, now hit white and blue nope just white and blue only the two that you're using because as you move the boom as you move the boom it changes the angle on these cables and and you want them on free spool you want to leave them on free Can you hold that one up, please? Uh, All right, take your blue up. It's all right, you'll get used to it. That's why we're doing it. The more you use it, the more you get used to it. Oh wow. I Now. Okay. Now you can lock the white in. Now from here, you're gonna to have to kind of feel it out because you're at an odd position with it. Yeah. All right, there's several ways to do it, but you need to learn from doing it, not me just telling you. Hold on, don't lift until I'm down. No, I'm not gonna ride it. Okay, right, right. now before you lift. Yep. 
go around and check check, all, all check everything. Check all your rigging, make yep. sure everything's locked in good. Okay. If we'd put another clevis in there, it would have allowed that clevis to pivot in this clevis and then, yeah. 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 You're still gonna be pulling sideways on it though, so. Yep. Okay. I'm gonna let you do it until you ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. There's no shame in that. Yeah, just don't hit, don't hit my truck, please. Okay, do I need to pull it the cables or the cables? From this point, you need to cable it until you get it. Oh, cable, stable. cable to stable. Okay. Gotcha. And now, what? Okay, I'm gonna shut up. I'm, I'm no, trying no, to, I trying to tell you, you what I was, to do. I'm curious on which one I need to lift first. I was thinking probably take the weight, the weight off your legs. Take the weight off my legs. Okay, yeah. Take the weight off your legs. You're almost directly vertical there. So you're not going to be pulling backwards on the... So I ain't got all the weight, all the weight. Yep, you're Swing not going to be on scooting on the dollies. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go, don't be afraid to give you some height on the front. Okay. okay. Be sure you've got enough room to clear your outrigger on your height. Okay. Right, now. Now what do you want to do? Start bringing it back. Okay. Now what's going to happen when you bring up the back? It's going to go forward. It's going to push it forward. You are correct. So, as you come up with the white, you, you need to go, no, nope. You need to stay at 90 degrees. Okay. You need to stay at 90 let, degrees. Let my, let my you need to let, you need to let the blue down as you go up with the white. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. And it, it, until you get used to it, you know, you can go up with yeah. white a little bit, down with blue a little bit, instead of trying to angle the controls. Just do it a little at a time. Like I tell Talon, small moves. And right now, you're fine. You can, you can take the white in quite a bit before you have to worry about the, letting the blue down. You'll know when it's time. Yep, you gotta get it centered. You gotta get the weight balanced out. You're getting there, you're getting close. She's about there. Well, what I'm concerned about is oh, yeah. when you spin it around, yeah. you know? Because right now your outriggers are under him and he doesn't have much room to move forward and backwards if we don't have enough travel on the boom. Yeah, okay? Yeah. So get it lifted and leveled out and bring it around. The worst comes to worst, we have to swing it around, set it down and pull our outriggers in a little bit. Okay? I just, I think, Try to think three steps ahead. Gotcha, gotcha. Look, 
Go ahead and bring your white in. You should be good now, just white in only. Yeah, I guess I was trying to do the blue while I was doing the white. Leave your white where it's at so that you get some height. Go ahead and pull your white in. And it should start leveling it. There you go. There you go. See? 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 All right, whoa. Now, boom out to get it away from the truck as you bring it around the corner. You're going to have to boom out and probably up to miss this trailer here. Do what? He's either going to go way up. I need to start turning, turn it now, or boom out a little bit first. And boom out. Now, what happens when you boom out? Without doing anything with your cables, what happens when you boom out? It brings your cables in. Okay. So as you boom out, it cap. Okay. It, it, it a little bit. Well. No, because you want the height. Okay, yeah. But I'm just reminding you that as you cable out, or as, I'm sorry, as you boom out, I'll pull them. it brings your load closer to the tip of the boom. Your cables aren't actually moving because you're not winching them in, yeah. but it's taking up, mm -hmm. changing your direction, or uh, changing the length of your cables from the end of the boom head, okay? You're getting a longer distance between your winch drum and the end of the boom head, so it's taking up the difference here at the end. Okay? As long as you can clear this trailer as we turn, you don't have to go very high. All right, start rotating it around and we'll see how she looks. I think you're gonna have to uh, boom up so that it brings it closer into the truck, but for now, go ahead and start bringing it around. Now, instead of using the, making up our own bridles like that, how else could we have done that? We could have used four winch lines. Yeah. We could have, could have redirected could have our redirected auxiliaries out. out to the end and ran four lines down to it. Yeah. There's all kinds of different ways to do it. As long as it's successful. Like if you're in a real tight spot, you kind of help out having four and more, more you know. Control over. Yep. Now, over your back corner, uh -huh. if you were if you had a heavy load, over your back corners, especially with the boom rolled all the way back, is your worst possible pick location. That that's your weakest link, that's right off of this rear corner or the other rear corner. Mm -hmm. That's your. Uh, Roll over your tip point, you know, that, that is your weakest point off the back corners. Go ahead and bring her around. And boom up. Well, just boom up. Or boom out, either one. Boom up and boom out. If and you don't, too. But you're gonna to have to go over the top of that other trailer. You knew, didn't you? We've been there, done that. <laughs> We've been there. Except we had one right smack beside us, didn't we? And it was raining. And it was raining, yes. All right. You should be good there. Now, watch what your truck's doing too. Always watch your truck. You gotta keep 
your vision on the whole job not just the load you got to keep your vision on the whole job now first before you get any further check your load screen i know from running this truck that you're good but you need to get in the habit of checking your load screen the scales yeah. just hit the scale yeah. all right what's it show um, you're 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 way green. down in the green yeah. uh can't see yeah, you're only 32 percent capacity so you're good you you're safe on tip and uh structure rollover and structure you're you're good which i knew you would be but you need yeah. to get used to that reading that screen yep because if that graph ever gets up into the yellow you need to rethink your strategy unless it's an absolutely i can't do anything else you know okay bring her on around bring her on around Normally on an air ride, chain we would axle. we would chain the axles to keep it from uh, bottoming out like that. I talked to him ahead of time. He said he wasn't worried about it. So the customer didn't want to because the trailer is pretty pretty uh, bad shape already. He said he wasn't worried about it. Just get him loaded. <laughs> Now, if this was a heavier load, I would not feel comfortable with it being up that high. Yeah. Not at all. Yeah, I mean, that aluminum trailer, it ain't. No. Well, no, this is a steel trailer. That's an aluminum. Well, it's That's aluminum, aluminum deck. Aluminum deck, yeah, but you got steel, uh, yeah. steel I-beams. Steel frames. And watch the top of your other trailer over here. All kinds of all right. I can still bring it down a little bit. Man. Well, now get it, get it over, get it over, top get it over the top of it before you bring it down. You know you're safe where you're at, so go ahead and continue bringing it around. Yeah, I think I. Plus, if you were to drop it down some, the more length you have in the cables, the more room it has to wiggle. Gotcha. Okay. It'll sway more. It'll sway more. It, it, it'll, it has the potential to move more on you the more cable you have out. Makes No. Nope. Well, no, you, you, and that's why you you operate the controls. You you learn those things. Learn what to look for next time. Watch your cab up there. Yeah, it's all right. So now, re now remember, remember, you, you stopped it kind of abruptly. Whenever you let off of it, this is a proportional remote. Okay, so you can back off of it real slow, so it doesn't swing on you whenever you stop it. All right. If you're swinging it around, well, you know what I'm talking about. He should have put more weight on the uh, outriggers. 
He didn't, I don't think he put them down over here. Hey, Mike. Yeah, you were about eight, ten inches off the ground over here. You didn't, I, you didn't have a good platform set, and I, I should have told you that. You always want to get if, on a lift like this. You always want to put good hard pressure down on the outriggers. Don't let them just lightly touch the ground. You want them to be your platform, not the truck as a platform. You want the outriggers to be your platform. You'll learn. That's why we're out here. This is a training session. Might as, I mean, that's why he's here. Yep, doing good. We don't ever let him run it. He's not going to learn. Close to 90 degrees, 90 degrees. I don't always so use. I, I, didn't, I don't always use that. I, I yeah. I no. use my eyes. Of course, I've got decent yeah. spatial recognition, so I can. Okay. Now, real nice and easy. Let your blue cable down a little bit to level it out. Level it out and get your cables. And you really gotta pay attention because you don't know it's moving. Just watch it. Well, you, you can put you it. can put it on high speed. Yeah, but, oh yeah, if you're just barely doing it on the proportional, you can make them just crawl. I mean a little closer. Okay. Now, what what can you do with one motion that will both bring the load into you and drop it at the same time? One one boom function. Amen. Boom in, correct, very good. Boom in will bring the load closer to you and drop it at the same time. It's real nice and easy. and then we'll wow. tweak it, set it where it needs to go. But now that you've got it leveled out, as you boom in, your cable's gonna stay the same, your lo load's gonna stay level.
Burn her down to like six inches above or something. That's gonna work out pretty doggone good. Okay, go ahead. I'm just talking out loud. I do that a lot. All right, now stop. I can already tell that you're a little bit off yep. on your angle, which is fine. Let's work on your front to back. You've got five foot of travel on the boom. Let's work that first. Get your travel so that we're on the trailer good. Roll the carriage forward, travel forward. That is invaluable right there. I'm here to tell you. Take it all the way up, and I think it's going to be—it's going to be really, really close. Ryan, do you want me to back up some? Hold on, just a minute. Yeah, we've we've got—we're rolling it forward. It—it's going to be really close. If you do have to back up, it's not going to be much. You guys got it going on, man. Exactly. Stop. Stop and go to the back and look. See if you're gonna on see if you're gonna overhang. You're pretty doggone close. Okay, now what you're gonna have to do rotate it around. Yeah, because you're a little bit off. Yeah. So square it up with the trailer. which also is gonna take it to the front of the trailer a little bit. So you may have to actually roll it back a little bit. That's okay, get it, line, get it lined up with the, yeah. get it lined up with the trailer. You're, you're pretty close right there. Pretty close. Now, boom up, which will bring it into you a little bit. Boom up and in at the same time. Try doing both functions at the same time. And that'll bring it, should keep it pretty level, but it'll drop it real slow. And if you have to, go up some more. All right, you're pretty close right there. around the other side and check.
before you go anywhere, go around and make sure you're about the same side to side on your tires. Alright, we're, we're off. You need to go that way. Alright, so white cable up. bit more because your front axle is actually touching due to the bow in the trailer yeah. okay now boom in just a little bit and that'll drop it and take it that way at the same time stand up here where you can watch you want to split the difference between what you had on that side and what you got on this side all right you're gonna have to cable up a little bit yep what it looks like see what it looks like on the other side now that you've moved it a little bit pretty doggone close Still want to hold pressure on this until you get the front set. Okay. What? Okay. All right. Now, hold on. You know why? Because because you're front of your trailer a little bit. Probably. Let's look and verify. All right, now, what's happening is you've got the teeter effect going on. Yeah. Okay? Let your blue down, and it should bring the rear axle up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Yeah, this, this is coming in a little bit. All right, now, white up just a little bit. We want to leave pressure on the front, front axle, axle, but we want to lift the back axle. All right. Now, what you need to do? You need to rotate. You need to twist it just a little bit. Rotate it. Rotate back, it. Back rotate it back this way just a little bit, and it'll pivot off those that front uh, front axle. Oop. Blue cable in. Blue cable in. There you go. Rotated around. It's getting there. It's getting close. Not exactly centered yet, but he's getting there. It's almost there. Now you know why it's dropping that every time? Bring, bring it. Well, it's, right, it's shortening the... Yeah, shortening the distance there. Yep. Run both... Do, how do we look there? Both cables down.
Go over just a little bit on this side. Bring the white up. comfortable with that my friend all right set her down how do you feel bad i think it looks pretty good you're the one that's got to haul it though i'm gonna strap it and run that's it <laughs> if you think it's good i'm doing it look at it it's all good as long as you're happy with it that's what matters man All right. All right, now, boom in and down, and that'll release the tension on it. In and down. Yeah. Gonna have to give me some more slack, Mike. In and down some more. Okay, Mike, you're flurry. Take it away.
I've got the hooks hung up inside, so. Go ahead and bring her back, that way he can start throwing straps. Good job. Oh yeah, you can swing it fast. And it's not idled up yet. Yeah. If you idle it up, you can really swing it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as always, thank you for watching. God bless.